Sorry guys, that was a little intense. Hey guys, Elise Jerome here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Let's see if I can get that adjusted. Today, I already have my face makeup done, highlight everything. Um, I will put in the description box what I used, but I wanted to show you guys like a classic holiday smoky eye that everyone can wear that's a little bit glam. You can dress it up like with a red lip if you want for a nighttime or a holiday party, or you can leave it with a nude lip for I would even wear it as a day look, so you do you, boo. Um, I am mostly going to be using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. Huda Beauty? Huda. Whatever. Smoky Obsessions palette. They're like $27 at Sephora. And they are so gorgeous. As you can tell, this is well loved. Um, you get a nice little mirror for travel, and then there's some shimmers and some mattes. And I will just really quick do uh, finger swatches and show you, like, what? Stop it. Those are so beautiful. I'm gonna be using the silver so you'll get to see that, but this is like, these are the ones that I probably won't be using today, but look how reflective that is. It's just, her shadows are amazing. They really are. Okay, let's get this going. I am going in with my Sedona Lace EB13, just a large fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into this tan shade right here. Tap off any excess and kind of just lightly buff it onto my crease just to give me more of a base. I mean, a transition, yes, but you've heard me say transition a thousand times by now. But it's a transition shade, so. Who am I kidding? You'll hear me say it a thousand more. And these palettes, like there's a warm obsession. There's so many different color options. Um, the only one that I've heard somewhat negative things about is the blue one that maybe the color payoff isn't as great, but I haven't tried it, so I don't know. So I just wanted to lightly establish a little bit of a base and kind of give myself some room to work between my brow because I am going to highlight my brow bone and my crease, which is where the crease and the corner are where you want to play up that drama. I'm going to take a slightly, it's still fluffy, but it's a little bit more uh, tapered and rounded. It's in Morphe R38. And with a super light hand, I'm going into this uh, kind of taupe, dark brown, not really that dark, but definitely darker super super light touch like make eye con or words and I such good friends make contact with the skin and start kind of buffing the color in here it is into your crease in here seriously guys words today it is ten times easier to add color than it is to take away. I always suggest starting with a super light hand. And if you want kind of more of that cat eye effect, when you come back down here, you can kind of go right here along your eye line and kind of start dragging it out. I'm not really going for that today, so I'm not going to, but you could. And you'll see me on like my second or third pass start working all the way into my crease. That's A, to bring that slightest bit of color in just so it's even all the way through and you get that nice depth and drama that you're looking for. And because I have looser eye skin and you can see if I don't do that, I get a little bit of skipping in here. And that's not the shadow, that's how my eyes are shaped, my eye skin, and the fact that I probably I mean, y'all, I used to wear, like, it was this L'Oreal little duo, and it was light blue and dark blue, and I put the dark blue out here on, like, this part of my eye, and the light blue right there, and I pull it, pull my skin back super, super tight, so, I mean, I'm sure that didn't help my crow's feet or any of that situation. Guys, don't do it. It's just not, not worth it. Okay. The next color that I'm going to be going in with is, it's kind of hard to see, and I'm sorry, guys but is this super, super, super dark chocolate brown. And I'm gonna go in on a much smaller, this is a Morphe R39. This is just a 
good brush to. I'm sorry, guys. I just cut my hair this morning and I'm getting little little strays everywhere. This color is super pigmented, so go with a light hand. Touch it on the corner of your eye and just kind of do that. See if you're getting any pigment payoff or any pigment depositing. If you're not, then go ahead and poke a little bit harder and kind of just really pack this color in there. And I kind of start to draw a little bit of a V, more of a V and then kind of feather in the fan look. And then at the very end when there's almost no product left on my brush, I will arc it into my crease halfway to two-thirds of the way up my eye. So you're keeping that dark and that depth out here. Have y'all gone online to any of the music venues and checked out Jeremy McComb yet? If you haven't, shame on you. If you're new to my channel, he is one of my really good friends from Northern Idaho. He's the music playing in all of my all of my videos in the background. We've been friends for 10, 15 years now. Check him out, you're welcome. I like to do checks, just little random checks where I lift your eyebrows up, kind of look down a little bit. And I have a huge, you guys can't see it, but I have a huge uh, mirror in front of me. And I'll kind of just look and make sure that they're looking kind of even. Typically I don't do my face before in case there's any fallout, but in this case, I am going to use a Jaclyn Hill trick. And I'm, she usually uses use loose, bleh, loose powder. I'm gonna use the Ulta Mattifying Setting Powder and an AOA Cosmetics. It's from shopmissa.com. This is a dollar and it is amazing. I love them. I love the quality of their brushes, their blenders, everything. But I'm gonna take some of that and kind of just under my eye, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, you can set more if you're gonna be working with glitters to kind of catch any fallout. Um, I didn't want to do too much because I do already have highlight on. And girl, that's pretty. Are any of you guys sports fans? I'm a huge hockey fan and college football. A boomer sooner all day long, baby. And I love my Boston Bruins. If you guys are sports fans, let me know down below in the comments. Like, what teams do you root for and why? Like, I'm from Washington State, but I love the Boston Bruins because they're what got me into hockey. I was watching one night and just randomly clicked over to hockey and fell in love with the game, the sportsmanship, everything. Um, my dad is from Oklahoma, so growing up, we always watched OU play because in Washington State, that was the only games that were on TV because Oklahoma State University, which is an amazing football school as well, just wasn't really televised up there. So I was always raised a Zoomers fan. It turns out my dad's a little bit more OSU, but you know, we allow him a flaw or two. Um, but, and then we ended up living in Oklahoma City for a while and I really just, I fell in love with OU. So I'm a Sooner for life. Okay, now that you have like that base kind of outer, really the drama kicked up in here is this is when you go in and you do the detailing and this is when you want to have the lightest hand possible this is normally a brush that I take for my uh, lower lash line but this is an AOA studio this is, again this is a dollar a dollar and it's they're a Texas company they're actually here in the Dallas area and it is an E112 made in the USA Look up Jeremy McComb and go to shopmissay.com. Thank you later. I'm gonna lightly tap into this black because Huda Beauty's black, at least in this palette, is no joke, y'all. No joke. Tap off that excess and then I'm just going to 
stamp it right out here on this inner, outer corner. It doesn't look that black because I'm using a light hand, but it is black. I am not going to really bring this much past that corner because that's where I want to keep that depth. I am from there going to take a it's a MAC 217, which MAC makes amazing brushes, as does Morphe. If you look at these two closely, like, obviously one's dirty, so don't judge. But this is a Morphe R39. I should know that, but it's an R39. They are really, really similar. I'm using the MAC 217 because I can, and I have it, and it's clean. And I'm going to go in and kind of, because you can see that that black is a little bit choppy. And I'm just gonna go in and kind of soften it. And kind of lightly, what I'm doing when I'm going in and softening it is I'm just barely making contact with my skin and kind of swishing, kind of like you're mixing paint. Like if you were gonna mix a red and a white paint together, you'd get pink. This is just, you're just taking the tip of the brush. I mean, you can still, the brush is still pretty clean looking and taking the tip and you're bringing this color down and this color up. I'm gonna do that a little bit right there, but mostly here kind of along my crease, just so those lines are nice and soft and you get that nice, really soft, beautiful blown out look. I am gonna go back in with my Morphe R38 into this color right here and just deepen up that crease a tiny, tiny bit, and blow it out a little bit more towards the outer corner. Okay, the star of this palette is, I think, the shimmers. I mean, the black is gorgeous, and it's an amazing black, but this silver, I wore it a year or two ago on New Year's, and just, hi guys, hi guys, wanna party? Because it's right here on my face. You do not need a primer or anything. I use my finger to apply it, and it is a little bit glittery. So use your finger, and definitely use a patting motion to set it down. Then you can kind of use your finger to blend it on there. It's like taking a glitter and a metallic and mixing them together and just creating this beautifulness. Morphe R39 and I'm going to kind of jump back and forth between these two colors and just kind of feather right there between the black and the silver to kind of blend everything in. And then from there, kind of, I mean, you be your own judge. But go in and kind of like, oh, it's a little bit further out on this side. But I mean, hey girl, hey. Sorry, I'm looking, not looking in the camera. My bad. Finish up my under eye. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe R41. It's just a smaller pencil brush. And I'm gonna go in with this beautiful color. And look up, take those eyebrows to the ceiling so you kind of tighten out that skin. And really buff this under the lower lash line. I'm not being overly careful about where I place it. 
I mean, the tip of the brush is touching my lower lash line. And after that, if it goes down a little bit further, you just get that much more of a smoky effect. And again, start small. You could always add more. I am gonna go in with a Morphe Y18 into that tan color and kind of just marry between that and my concealer. I'm going to go in with a smaller Morphe Y22 into this dark brown color and just pull it up that lash line. Morphe Y21 flat definer, stamp straight down into the black and right along that lash line. About two thirds of the way in because you don't want your eyes to seem closed and small. What is that? Get up, please. And then if it's a, a little harsh for you, go in, take a brush, and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna take my tried and true MAC Graph Black Technical Liner. Right in that waterline. Y'all, I am sorry for the faces that I make when I apply anything to my lower lash line. The fact that you guys stick with me means a lot. It really does. For upper eyeliner, you can leave it alone. If you want to do some lashes or something, which I'm gonna put on lashes, so I'm gonna keep going. You can take the Morphe Y21, stamp it into the black, and kind of stamp it right along your lash line like I did. I'm gonna be using a super wispy, it doesn't have a thick black band, so you don't really need to have a line to blend away. And where? I use tweezers, and when you're using lashes, if you're a first time lash user, don't be intimidated. Hold it up to this. This lash goes on this eye. This lash goes on this eye. And these are the Ardell Professional Wispies. You can get them at Sally's Beauty. You can get them at Ulta. And I just get them off the little carton. Kind of give them some flex. And I hold them with my tweezers. Then I use the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive in the dark tone. Get just a tiny bit coming out of the top of the tube. And you wanna work just a tiny bit all along that lash line, or that lash band. And I'm gonna use my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara to put on my lashes so I have a base. Hmm? Wrong eye. And you want to let that lash glue set for a few seconds just so it gets a little bit tacky. And then get my mirror. There you go. It's a magnetic little uh shadow palette so it stays closed so it's sometimes it's a little bit tough to open and then I go up over I promise I'll get better lighting one of these days guys and I set them right down on my lash line on top of my natural lashes use the tweezers to really kind of Set them where you want them, and then you can kind of take the tweezers, be very careful of your eyes, and go in and clamp along. Tarte actually has a great like tool to use, so you don't have to use your tweezers. And 
it just adds just a little bit of drama to that eye. You also, I have larger eyelids, so you wanna make sure that you measure the lash first and make sure that it's not too big for your eye. Um, I keep a little pair of scissors on my desk just in case they are too big and just trim it from the outer. If it's too big, don't, you don't want people to think poking you in the eye all night. That's going to be irritating as heck. Get some glue on these bad boys. a little bit on the drier side up over and set the corner down right in the center of your eye then you can take if you can't use your tweezers you can take your fingers and kind of just push it back And they just add that next level drama. And I mean, if you're going for this kind of look, let's be honest, who doesn't want that next level drama? Go to my lower lash line with that same mascara. And then once your lashes are dry, if they kind of, there's still a little bit of a difference, just kind of take your mascara and fluff through. To kind of force your lashes up and marry them with the falsies and it, doing your mascara and then putting the falsies on just kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner a little bit longer so for highlight on my inner corner i am going in with a actual highlighter it's by ofra cosmetics it is the glazed donut and i'm using a crown pencil brush That is also what I'm gonna use to highlight my brow bone. And in case y'all are wondering, this is the highlight that I have on my face. And I use a Morphe R36 and we'll just punch it up a little bit. So because the eye is super dramatic, you can just use a nice nude lip. And today we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. Don't go as fast as I did, so you must hit the corners. If you're going to a holiday party, punch it up with red lipstick. If you have like golden tones in your eyes, I would stick with more of a red to an orangey red. If you have like bright blue eyes, you can pull off a blue based red. I should probably do a dedicated video on that. Let me know if you guys want to see that kind of video down below, like how to wear a bright red lipstick. I have really small lips. Let me know if you want to know how do I wear lipstick with smaller lips. Um, really, any guys, any ideas that you guys have, I'd love to hear. Uh, as always, if you like this video, please click the click the like button, share, subscribe, let everybody know. Follow me on Instagram. It's lacejerome84, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.